hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, in this video i am uh, sharing some uh, important questions on mco04 and uh, friends aisa nahi hai ki only you know you will uh, study all these important questions and go for the exams so that is not a good idea in fact uh, you know aap logon ke paas mein jo bhi study materials hain textbooks hain and you must also concentrate on self study but uh, you know i have taken all these uh, questions from the previous year exam papers and uh, assignments tma so my main object is you know uh, to help you in the preparation for the exams so definitely these questions will help you uh, with you know uh, you will get to know ke like what type of questions uh, come in the exams and how to write the answers so you know that is our main motto that uh, uh, to help you in that way so friends uh, let's start with the first question and this is the question that recently i have shared the video on this like uh, uh, what is business environment and state its significance so let's uh, skip out this question and uh, let's move on to the next one and these are the different types of components that is micro and macro uh, business environment and already iske upar maine video recently share kiya tha so i hope you have watched that and a very important question and it strikes in the exams regularly almost every year okay let's see uh, some more important questions on this and this one question uh, you know ye question uh, last year ke exams mein aaya bhi hua that is the uh, distinguish between economic and non economic uh, environment and basically you know economic environment uh, deals with creation of wealth you know all those in uh, environment that helps to create wealth are economic environment and uh, leaving out all these uh, economic uh, environment all the other environment are they are called non economic uh, environment so like that you know you can expand your answer okay next uh, important question is uh, what is the emerging scenario of business environment in india यू नो रिसेंटली इंडिया में बहुत सारे चेंजेस देखे गए हैं एंड काफ़ी कुछ यू नो रैपिडली फास्ट ग्रोइंग कंट्री में इंडिया का नाम नंबर वन है एंड लेट्स सी क्या क्या चीज़ें यहाँ पे चेंज हो रही है सबसे पहले तो पॉलिटिकल अनसर्टेंटी तो ये तो बहुत पुरानी यू नो इट्स अ टाइप ऑफ डिजीज दैट बींग स्ट्राइक स्ट्राइक टू इंडिया फॉर क्वाइट ए लॉन्ग टाइम तो यहाँ पे पॉलिटिकल इंस्टेबिलिटी अनसर्टेंटी बहुत ज़्यादा है and india has opened doors for globalization uh, since 1991 there is economic liberalization uh, there is technological revolution we are uh, much more attracted to technology and uh, we are readily adopting that that's a very good sign then uh, india is uh, one of the you know major uh, source of outsourcing right outsourcing here you know refers to uh, an example say uh, bpo theek hai तो इंडिया में ये बहुत ही ज़्यादा प्रोग्रेस कर रहा है एंड द अदर फैक्टर इज़ रूरल मार्केट इंडिया में अभी अर्बन मार्केट से ज़्यादा रूरल मार्केट में काफ़ी डेवलपमेंट हो रहे हैं सो ऑल दिस सिक्स पॉइंट्स यू कैन एक्सपैंड इन योर आंसर फाइन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज एनवायरमेंटल स्कैनिंग इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस एंड इट्स प्रोसेस बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है एंड यू नो जितना भी इसके बारे में आप इंफॉर्मेशन uh, गैदर कर सकते हैं लर्न कर सकते हैं वेल एंड गुड एंड बेसिकली यू बेसिकली यू नो व्हाट इज दिस एनवायरमेंटल स्कैनिंग ऑल अबाउट लेट्स सी आई हैव रिटन द डेफिनेशन द प्रोसेस बाय विच एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मॉनिटर द एनवायरमेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई द अपॉर्चुनिटीज और थ्रेट्स इज कॉल्ड एनवायरमेंटल स्कैनिंग और एनालिसिस एक टाइप के एनालिसिस है uh, जो हम लोग जो कंपनी uh, अपने यू नो इमीडिएट एनवायरनमेंट पे करती है टू आइडेंटिफाई द अपॉर्चुनिटीज और इफ देर आर एनी थ्रेट्स ओके नाउ इसके जो इम्पॉर्टेंस हैं लाइक यू नो अपॉर्चुनिटी कंपनी ऑलवेज सिक्स फॉर अपॉर्चुनिटी तो वो स्कैनिंग से मिल सकती है देन इट कैन नो द टेस्ट एंड प्रेफरेंस ऑफ द कंज्यूमर्स इट हेल्प्स टू आइडेंटिफाई और मॉडिफाई द टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ द कंपनी इट हेल्प्स टू फ्रेम न्यू पॉलिसीज then optimum use of uh, available resources and it helps to face the competition so these are all the importance uh, of uh, scanning 
and uh, about its characters uh, characteristics it is a very dynamic and complex process continuous process and uh, like that you can expand your answer the different approaches are systematic approach ad hoc approach and processed form approach so you can mention these three types of approaches of environmental scanning and let's see the different processes of environmental scanning firstly identification of the environmental variables then identification of sources of information selecting the approach selecting the method or technique then the factors affecting environmental scanning so ye bhi factor matlab study karna hai company ko then preparing environmental threat and opportunity profile that is uh, in short it is known as etop so like this there are six steps or processes in environmental scanning right let's move on to the next question discuss the socio cultural variables which impact business environment so this is also a very very important uh, question and uh, you must learn and try to understand what is this socio culture all about society plus culture because society hai to culture hai and where there is culture there is religion there is a, a language there is a clothing there is dressing style so there is literacy there is family so like that to ye socio cultural jo main variables hain jaise culture language religion literacy customer preferences social class and family to ye sare points ko aapko expand karne hain and uh, again uh, the next important uh, question one that is from social responsibility of business and its pros and cons that means advantages and disadvantages so social responsibility hota kya hai generally it refers to the obligation of a business firm to protect and promote the social welfare and uh, generally you know uh, a business enterprise cannot exist without satisfying the society because it is the society that buys the goods and services of the business so like that you can write a lot about this and in fact we have read about in class 11 and 12 about this social responsibility these are the different advantages like it creates a good public image and uh, it helps to earn more profits better customer relationship and the business the business can sustain for a long time there is personal growth and development of the business and it also provides employment opportunities to the society the disadvantages uh, that is there with social responsibility like risk to reputation if the firm does any you know any sort of anti social work then it results in higher cost right then uh, it may also affect the interest of the shareholders because a company just cannot uh, do social welfare it has to you know uh, earn more profits to satisfy the shareholders and stakeholders and it may also clash the business objectives of the firm and uh, secrecy you know the policies of the company has to be disclosed to the society so in that way you know secrecy cannot be maintained okay the next important question is what is monetary policy describe the various instruments of monetary policy uh, let's try to understand what is monetary policy and who frames this policies uh, you know <clears throat> it is uh, in simple words it is a process of controlling the demand and supply of currency of an economy by the uh, central bank of india or reserve bank of india theek hai ek country mein hamari country mein jo currency ka demand aur supply ko regulate karta hai rbi to isi ko hi bola jata hai monetary policy right and iske main instruments dekhte hain bank rate policy open market operations cash reserve ratio which is also known as crr then statutory liquidity ratio also known as slr then repo rate and reverse repo rate to iske bare mein hum logo ne class 12 mein bhi padha hua hai to ye uh, wo you know the all uh, through these uh, instruments the rbi uh, regulates the supply of currency in india right तो यू नो यू हैव टू एक्सपैंड ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन राइट सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेटिंग एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन 
how does industrial development pose a threat to an economy and what measures have been taken by the government to resolve these issues uh, i think ye uh, december 2021 ke exams mein ye question aaya tha and uh, as we know bahut hi common topic hai and uh, industrial development uh, you know has resulted in the jo sabse badi jo problem aa rahi hai development se and that is pollution right to usi ko highlight karke aapko answer answer ko create karna hai and these are the main factors uh, like you know environmental pollution social inequality you know the richer gets richer and poorer gets poorer so aise society mein do classes uh, ho chuke hain and uh, there is regional inequality some regions are more developed than others uh, then uh, there is migration of workers from rural areas to urban areas then the other problem is development of slum areas in urban areas in cities areas we have seen that you know there is a widespread uh, growth of uh, slum areas theek hai aur wahan pe you know hygienic and sanitary conditions are very very poor so that is one of the uh, you know problem created by industrial development and uh, in all these slum areas we can find that uh, there are health issues uh, with the workers so like this you can uh, explain these points let's see the main measures taken by the government of india first pollution control measures have been taken rural employment programs have been launched by india so that the people do not migrate from rural to urban areas for working then uh, it has also you know monitoring the working conditions of the workers then development of uh, slum areas and public awareness programs right so the next important question why is foreign capital important for india's economic development and uh, what are the uh, changes in the uh, policy uh, to attract foreign capital so you know uh, foreign capital is important for any country's economic development like that india you know has also taken a lot of uh, steps uh, to attract foreign investment now it is also known as fdi foreign direct investment and let's see like what are the advantages of fdi firstly it provides employment opportunities to a lot of people because you know Uh, when the uh, foreign capital comes in a lot of industries are being established and that will create job employment opportunities then there is economic growth and development of the country uh, there is development of human resource uh, you know and then uh, you know uh, we can uh, adopt uh, new technology from other countries export growth is there the market will become more competitive that is both domestic and international market and uh, that will also help the domestic industries to grow so i have explained all these points and let's see the important policy changes that took place in 1991 which was uh, you know i was talking about this uh, because 1991 was a very important year for india uh, as far as you know economy is concerned and basically you know three things three important decisions we are taken that is globalization privatization and uh, liberalization and uh, some other major steps were also taken like uh, industrial licensing was abolished fdi was permitted foreign technology agreements were permitted so uh, you know like that okay the next question is from small scale sector and uh, how like it has uh, helped india to grow and develop now small scale sectors or industries are those Uh, which produce goods and services with the help of relatively smaller machines and workers the investment is up to 1 crore and uh, <clears throat> they are generally managed uh, uh, by the owners themselves they are more labor intensive rather than uh, capital intensive that means more and more labor are employed uh, for production purpose and uh, let's see the institutional framework now this is very very important एंड ये इंस्टीट्यूशनल फ्रेमवर्क के शॉर्ट नोट्स में भी आता है लाइक सिटको स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैन एस आई एस आई दैट इज स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज सर्विस इंस्टीट्यूट एंड देन आफ्टर नेशनल स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज कॉरपोरेशन एन एस आई सी इनके बारे में मैंने प्रीवियस वीडियोज में आप लोगों को एक्सप्लेन भी किया हुआ है तो डू वॉज दोज वीडियोज 
and uh, let's see how like these small scale industries help in the economic development of india now firstly it provides employment opportunities it reduces social equality and uh, it uses the resources efficiently and helps in the growth of exports then it helps to contribute to gdp and some disadvantages are like you know they lack uh, entrepreneur skills they suffer from lack of capital they use traditional technology and they cannot compete with multinational companies so these are few drawbacks and uh, let's see the next question write a short note on sebi act 1992 sebi means uh, stock exchange uh, board of india and it was a statutory re uh, regulatory body that was established by the government of india in 1992 for protecting the interest of the investors investing in securities so let's see the basically you know sebi has these three important functions first protective function that means it protects the interest of the shareholders and stakeholders secondly regulatory functions that means it regulates the working of all the stock exchanges in india and uh, thirdly developmental function that means it helps in the development of uh, stock market or capital market in india and that is why like you know i have written all these important points so you must expand in this way try to practice uh, writing more and more okay so that is uh, the basic uh, key of success in mcom and uh, let's move on to the next question privatization and how this is useful for india now privatization means you know transfer of ownership management and control of public sector enterprises to the private sector okay and basically you know public sector means you know uh, government or state government enterprises which are running into losses can be handed over to public uh, firms uh, private firms or private individuals so we have seen a lot of examples of that and the main object is you know to provide a strong momentum for the inflow of fdi improving the efficiency of public sector enterprises and uh, let's see like privatization ke liye do main process hain that is transfer of ownership and the other the most important method is disinvestment so like this uh, now privatization aise bhi hum log kar sakte hain like uh, public sale of shares public auction public tender direct negotiations uh, so like that now privatization ke uh, main advantages kya hain good efficient management more profits efficient use of resources reduces bureaucracy and red tapeism then creation of more employment motivation for the workers to work hard so like this now let's see the next question write a short note on fema foreign exchange management act which was established in 1991 replacing fera act so here you know the main uh, object of this is to uh, regulate uh, the foreign exchange in india right so basically you know to remove all the restrictions on the sale and purchase in current accounts and it gives uh, powers to central government to regulate the flow of payments to and from abroad and uh, so like this there are lot of points in this which you can write and after privatization we have globalization globalization as we know i have also shared in the previous videos on globalization so it is the integration of uh, integration of the country with uh, the other countries of the world free movement of uh, people goods technology and capital so that is the basic object of globalization free trade liberalization it uh, resulted uh, results in uh, increase in employment and uh, increased connectivity between the nations interdependence of the nations so that has resulted in good brotherhood and uh, unity of the nations there is cultural exchange urbanization like lot of rural areas have been converted into urban areas due to globalization standard of living of the people has been increasing uh, then uh, there is economy of production cost and outsourcing so these are the basic advantages of globalization 
The next question is on Consumer Protection Act 1986. This is also a very uh, common question, always strikes in the exams. And uh, basically this act was uh, formed to safeguard the interest of the consumers. And uh, this act has uh, provided uh, six rights of the consumer. Right to safety, right to choose, right to be informed, right to consumer education, right to be heard and right to seek compensation. So you must define all these six rights. Apart from these rights, there are some duties and responsibilities of the consumer. So that also you can mention in your answer. Uh, okay. Let's move on to the next one. And the question is uh, on corporate governance and state the measures adopted in India to ensure good corporate governance. Now, what is this corporate governance? Let's try to understand this. Uh, these are a set of rules and regulations used by a firm to control and direct its activities. And basically, you know, the board of directors prepare these uh, rules and it believes in four P's that is uh, people, process, performance and purpose. The main object is to provide uniform system of working for everyone and stakeholders. And the measures uh, taken for good governance that is accountability and responsibility recognition of stakeholders rights financial security transparency in operations and legal compliance right uh, let's move on to the next very very important question and this is on money market and its main constituents as we know money market is an organized exchange market where securities are bought and sold and uh, it has its uh, significance also like it helps in trade and industries, development in capital markets, smooth functioning of the commercial banks. So like that. Now let's see the main constituents. First, treasury bills, call money market, repo market, commercial paper. So like this. So I have also explained all these topics in the previous videos. I will share the link. Do watch those videos. Okay. The next one is uh, Competition Act. The main provisions of Competition Act 2002. So this also you need to uh, study a bit. Then after uh, the various approaches to social accounting and reporting. Social accounting aims to measure and inform the public about the social welfare activities undertaken by them. Okay. And this is a very new concept for in accounting. And uh, let's see the different approaches. Uh, this exams came in December 2021, so you know, this year you will get this question. So basically, you know, there are uh, uh, four, five approaches. So you can define on this. Then we have Environmental Protection Act 1986. This you have to read and write. It's an important question. Hai. Then uh, social cost benefit analysis, uh, stock exchange, its key functions like liquidity and marketability of stocks, price determination, safety of investments, fund mobilization and healthy speculation. So all these uh, points you can mention. Then apart from this, you know, there are some uh, topics which are common in IBO 01, 04 and 0, uh, MCO 04 like this one, Exim Bank. Ye IPO 04 may be here and uh, MCO 04 may be here. So, uh, you know, MCO IPO 04 ke videos be up long so that you can have a better understanding of all these concepts. Like this one also BOP balance of uh, payment, its main components, its methods, and uh, how to correct the deficit in the accounts. So, all these questions I have. I have uh, you know explained in my previous videos so please watch those videos i will share the link in the description box now this one says special economic zones its objectives features now this was also uh, you know ibo 04 mein maine isko explain kiya so uh, it is also uh, common to mco 04 and uh, what are the measures taken by the indian government to promote exports so this question also a very important one then why india is an underdeveloped country uh, due to low per capita income dependence on agriculture rapid population growth chronic unemployment lack of capital illiteracy as a boss are a points a common topic hai. 
जिसको हम एक्सपैंड कर सकते हैं एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज इंडियन पैटेंट्स एक्ट 1970 तो इसके बारे में भी शॉर्ट नोट्स आपको मिल सकता है एंड फ्रेंड्स दैट्स ऑल इन दिस वीडियो एंड डोंट इग्नोर इन एनी मैनर यू नो टू रिवाइज ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स एंड एट लीस्ट लाइक यू नो यू विल गेट सम टाइप ऑफ आइडियाज एंड नॉलेज टू एक्सपैंड योर आंसर्स ओके एंड यू माइट गेट फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन गुड बाय टेक केयर